Hello dudes and dudettes, welcome back to all the mods 8. And yes, that is correct guys. This is going to be the video series finale. That doesn't mean we're not going to be playing in this world anymore. It just means I'm going to be focusing my modded attention on something new coming in the next couple of days. But yeah, this is going to be the end of us playing on this uh, in videos. Uh, I'm going to be streaming a lot more. Um, and yeah, we're going to be work working on finishing out the mod pack in the live stream. So be on the lookout for that. So I figured today <clears throat> we would just uh, kind of go over uh, what we've done in this world. Um, we're going to take all those levels and we hang on a second. There we go. Now I can hear it. And I've been just compiling all of our levels down here. We have over 8,000 levels as of now. We have quite a bit. Uh, which is uh, really fine and dandy. Check out, look, this is how fast we gain levels. So it's actually slow. Interesting. <clears throat> Anywho, yeah, so I've just been storing them all Oops, down here. Um, yeah, this is our base area. If you guys haven't seen this from episode one, I highly recommend going and checking it out. Um, yeah, it's really awesome. We got to play on this world for quite a while now. Um, <clears throat> whoops. Um, but yeah, we have quite a few items. We have over uh, 127 million gunpowder, which is really crazy. Um, yeah, as you can see, we got all of the stuff and things. Um, our mob farm is what's giving us all of this. Uh, it's been really, really nice. Um, <clears throat> We have a bunch of compact machines here. This is the mob farm. Let me turn off my magnet here. So I will take you guys in there really fast. So yeah, as you can see, we're producing quite a few mobs. Um, yeah, right in front of us is a uh, warp portal from... Uh, I forget which this is from. Ars Naval, right? Um, so that's fun and dandy. <clears throat> Here is where all the mobs go to perish. Um, wow, it's working while we're in here. They fixed that. Before, when we'd be in here, it wouldn't load up the other ones. Nice. <clears throat> so yeah, um, our filters here are loading up. This is all of our storage for these guys. As you can see, we've got a heck ton of them. That was a chicken. But yeah, I linked it over to our applied energistics system. Um, <clears throat> but yes, so all of these pick up the experience, pump them into this experience uh, ender tank, and that gives it over to that system we saw before. Um, we were getting a bunch of lag because a bunch of items were getting stuck on the ground with these guys, but we went ahead, or I went ahead, um, off camera and put these advanced item collectors in here and these really really cut down on the lag um, and allow us to produce these at incredible rates here but uh, <clears throat> yeah that was uh, the mob farm system um, whoops here we have our wither killing chamber that's been running I thought non-stop Oh, we've gone through all of our wither skeleton heads. Interesting. Yeah, because the device is online and we're no longer bumping them out. Dang, okay. Yeah, so they would get built here and then get teleported over to here. And yeah, it was really good. <clears throat> but we're out of wither skeleton heads, so that's okay. And this room here is how we maxed out our Mahao. Um, yeah. oh, you can see these now with complimentary shares, which is nice, but yeah, so this is the boundary of life drain and these villagers spawn in, uh, they don't have any AI and they just get killed by these and it replenishes more than it consumes and they do drop inferior essence. So this is just a drawer with a void, uh, upgrade. So yeah. So yeah, those are the compact machines. This is our ore processing room here and other auto crafting things, mainly just processing things. Um, but yeah, all of our, because we get this from the mob farm, from the creepers. Uh, we have special cave creepers and they do drop a lot of nice resources, but yeah, they get put into here uh, and this stuff gets 
thrown into here, gets smelted up, and yeah, it's good to go. Um, over here is our furnaces. We have our unobtainium furnaces that smelt things crazy fast, and our mechanism automation for all of the alloys and other things that we haven't quite made yet, but that is fine. Here's all the enriching factories that kind of pairs up with those. Um, yeah, we haven't built anything out here yet. We'll probably expand out here uh, in, during streams. Um, down here, this is where all of our immersive engineering garden cloches are. These guys have been working nonstop for a long time. Um, but yeah, we have all those being piped into here. So each one of these sections has a dedicated crafter for them. And I did that because when we were using the seeds from, uh, for all the modium, all the modium seeds and stuff like that over here, um, they were just taking, they would take up so much of the crafting space that I just dedicated it for that. So down here is our mystical agriculture and bee production area. Uh, we've been working on this the past couple of episodes. Um, but yeah, we have our prosperity bees up here. Um, we do have the dual speed upgrades and dual productivity upgrades, and this has been working great. And then I also did run a pipe down here and a very ugly wire all the way to our ME system up there um, to this chest to export glass bottles. And then each of these are just connected up to the backs of the hives so that we're also getting the honey out of them that we desperately need. But yeah, um, this is our Inferium production plus our mob farm. And I did max this guy out all the way to the bottom. And as you can tell, all these guys go way down here. Yeah, we really feel faster than the water. That was fun. But yeah, those have... This is essentially maxed out. If you guys know a way to speed up these, uh, I don't think we have any lamps of fertility. Oh, we just updated. Um, maybe. I tried using this, farming for blockheads, but I wasn't able to use any of these guys, the fertilizers. Tablet of fertility. This might actually do it. Hmm... Maybe. I don't know. But let me know if you guys know any way to speed this up further on. I mean, these do grow really fast. So, I mean, it's not like we're not having a good time here. And then, uh, originally, we were going to put the wardens down here, but it are the, the wither skeleton down here. But I think we may end up putting the wardens here and just slowing down the spawn rates. Um, yeah, we'll work on that later. A few diamonds hanging around. And then up here is where we have all of our auto crafting um, and extra stuff. I ended up putting these in like literally just before I started recording this episode um, just to give us more crafting storage. I thought that was Enderman for a second. But yeah, we have our uh, ME pattern providers and molecular assemblers. Uh, I believe these have all been actually except for these on this side. Um, they've all been maxed out speed wise. And then we're going to put... Um, these are the inscriber uh, automation. We're going to put one on each side here. We'll do that on stream as well. And this is the underbelly of all the nasty cables coming out here. Yeah, it looks pretty terrible. But uh, yeah, that's it for this base here. Um, oh, and this is our little trophy room that we'll end up filling up when we're done. Um, this is from the Twilight Forest, all the bosses we killed in the correct order, which is pretty cool. And we'll put like an Aldemodium star probably on top of this guy uh, once we get it. Um, but yeah, this is the original base that we started at. It's been kind of demolished a bit here. Uh, we still have our ore processor down here, which has been just extremely valuable throughout the entire series. Like I've come down here probably... I would say at least once or twice per video I make and utilize that, uh, which is really nice. But yeah, we also found out that you can use water um, to make singularities. You just got to put a 64K in here and uh, set that to items and it makes singularities extremely fast because we have very good pipe upgrades on this. So yeah, I highly recommend it if you guys are in Applied Energistics too. Um, what else? What else? What else? Yes, over here is our 
uh, resin latex processing um which has been very helpful yet again uh mystical agriculture we're going to move this into the new base here um, probably went to one of the the sub quad rooms just below our main storage area uh these two items will go on there for automation purposes twilight forest all of our chickens um this is where i take a lot of screenshots i'll put an item in here and then do you know do the f1 and then be able to crop it really easily which is nice in photoshop here's our enchanting table and our um what are you again creosote oil man it's been a while since i've been over at that spot but yeah that was our original wither killer area and then there's one more spot i want to show you guys which is the pig oh we're out of we're out of xp It's cool that they updated it so that you only need experience to travel cross dimensions rather than everywhere. So this is the Piglitch farm. This is one of my favorite things we've created here. As you can see, the Pigliches spawn in and they just get flung into the kill chamber, which is right over here. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Very handy. Very useful. And we just kind of bait them over and they get kind of thrown in. Hey, you. Oh, shoot. Huh. See, it just kind of flings you over. But yeah, these guys have a stupid amount of 5,000 health points. And what do we have here? Yeah, the Morgan is the best weapon in the game. I, I haven't found anything better. Seriously. I highly recommend it. But yeah. He got flung in. But yeah, this farm works great. We have a whole bunch of piglitch hearts. Uh, I think more than we'll ever need, honestly, which is awesome. But yeah, that is the world. Uh, Zawoldo. Um, yeah, so this is going to be a short episode today. Uh, final episode saying goodbye, but it's going to be on for streaming. I've just kind of lost interest in um, preparing videos for it because we do have a new mod pack coming out that I'm really excited for. Um, but yeah, we will continue it in live streams and I will add those to the list after this. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching this series. It was a blast. We did so much. We became so strong that our hearts went back to red. I'm pretty sure it's above 100 hearts, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are practically invincible in this world. So let me know what you guys want to see in live streams and we'll do it. But anyways, guys, thank you so much for watching all the mods 8 hardcore. This has been Super Turtle. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.